Okay, let's see if this works. Apparently my earbuds haven't been working, so this is a do-over in case you saw the early one. Um, thanks for joining me. Welcome to my broadcast. My name is Barry Selby. I'm a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. I help strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine. Uh, one of my clients likes to call me a guardian of the feminine, which is pretty flattering as well. And I do these talks every day called Messages from the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. Um, this is number 386, which is going to be talking about dick pics and uh, duck lips. It, re it resonates. I mean, it doesn't alliterate, but it resonates. I'm going to use that as a title. Let's talk about online dating. And hopefully you can hear me now. So all right, thank you for the, the love and the hearts and thumbs and up, by the way. Oh, and if you're watching this on YouTube, it did start out on Facebook Live. That's what it is now. I'm talking to, of course. But in, in replay, it'd be on Facebook Live. It'd be Facebook and also on YouTube. So just in case you're wondering where it is. Um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So let's talk about this. So last night I was at a, an event, a workshop that a friend of mine was leading. And one of the women in the audience said how these guys keep sending her dick pics. And it's really annoying. And I'm like, of course it is. And so it really stirred up in me the desire to talk about this. Because frankly, like, what has the dating, online dating come to? What has the dating world come to when it's all about sending pictures of pieces of anatomy to get someone to go out with you? Something's definitely wrong with this picture. So I want to speak to this a little bit and also offer some guidance, feedback, suggestions, and some real red flags. <laughs> um, it's so interesting. Maybe the dating world's changed so that people are only interested in having sex and they want the other person's body, so they want to advertise the best part of it. If that's the case, that's not what I recommend if you're looking for a long-term relationship. In fact, you know that if you listen to my broadcast that online dating and dating apps are not really my recommendation if you're looking for a long-term relationship. Um, if they're a tool to use, oh, that was bad. I was going to say, no. And some guys send the picture of their tool to people, so I had to do that. <laughs> I couldn't resist it. I just, I had to say it. So this self-promotion of body parts to get dates is a very messed up philosophy and focus and way of being. Ladies, I mean, I, I presume most of you ladies watching this and women I've talked to, if some guy sends you a picture of his dick, I'm presuming that's not going to turn you on or get you excited. I mean, maybe if you're already in a relationship with a guy and you're getting excited, maybe that works. But frankly, unsolicited, I do not see the, and of course I don't want to see the pictures anyway, but I don't see the benefit of that or the even effect of actually getting something from you except rejection. Maybe, I mean, unless they're trying to instigate some sort of upset and get you like to fire back at them, which is they can, you know, play the dance of like, I've got her upset, I can play with that which is not a good approach either. So, and there are women, by the way, there are women who do that to men too. Not dicks, obviously, but like duck lips or low, you know, cleavage or, you know, side boob, whatever they want, They're parts of their anatomy to make a guy get excited. Now, the thing is, when it goes from women to men, it tends to be less, in, less offensive and actually more provocative because we are generally, men as men, visually triggered and we're visually inspired, which is why when a woman dresses nice, it excites us. Um, it's more sexually whereas, whereas I think if men dress up nice for a woman she's more turned on energetically and, heart, and her heart opens up more I could be off on that one Let me just I'm laying that out there if you have a different perspective please comment on the screen let me know so I'm watching where I'm going with this attempting to keep it clear alright <laughs> they say a picture tells a thousand a, a, a picture is equivalent to a thousand words Sometimes those pictures are one word, stop, <laughs> because they have no effect and no benefit for anybody. So again, it works on both genders, but mostly it's, to, it's men towards women doing this. So ladies, as you're my main, main audience, some suggestions. First of all, if that person, saying, if that guy sends you a dick pic unsolicited is not somebody you're interested in, and that doesn't excite you, which I presume it doesn't, I hope it doesn't, well, that's another story, interacting with them, getting pulled into a conversation is not what I recommend. It doesn't work for you, it works for them, not for you. So blocking, deleting, ignoring, whatever, that works, that's the best way to walk away from it. Now, if you ladies are feeling that there's the only option that seems to show up for you, you're not getting any other luck, not getting any other responses, not getting men chase, pursuing you, chasing after you, I did talk about this a couple of days ago. Was it yesterday? I talked about it recently about how dating apps are a, are a tool to use, not a place to start. 
I'm not going to rehash the whole thing, but I'll say it this way. For ladies in particular, if you are not getting what you want in terms of the men on the, on these dating apps, because you're just getting dick pics and no um, messages of no polite messages, then you may want to change your focus in terms of your internal lens. I talked about this before, and it's this my main core program is really for you to get clear on your vision, your intention, your desire for relationships. You know what it is before you even go on the dating apps, because the reality is, and it's true for men and women, just so you both get this understanding, that we men do it more than women I think but we as a race human race oftentimes don't plan ahead we don't get clear about what we want before we go looking for it we go looking hoping we'll find something and it'll match what we don't even know we want which sounds very confusing and that's a mistaken approach on many levels and in every area of life I know for myself when I was in when I was looking for work and admittedly I was a lot more naive back in my 20s but I, was, I got amazing jobs. I got to work in Germany, got to work in Belgium, came to the United States. And only one of those places was, did I have a clear intention. I know that now looking back. I was just drifting along going, I'll get something, I'll find something to do. And I just would apply to things that showed up. I was actually responding to what was out there versus choosing what I wanted first. Of course, back then I didn't know about the law of attraction. This is going back a few decades now. So coming to America, that was definitely a conscious choice and I didn't know then I actually was was utilizing what's known as the law of attraction because it wasn't called that back then so for when it comes to relationship bringing it into present moment for both men and women it would be smarter I would suggest to actually get clear what you want before you go out looking for it which sounds so obvious now you know it's like men we go like we like we, we're hunter type we, we, we're pursuers, we chase after, we go for things. Yesterday I talked about this. I talked about how men, ch men chase, women choose. So watch that broadcast. It was a good one. I feel it was anyway. So we like to go out and hunt and pursue. But oftentimes we just go out and just see what's out there. We don't actually go say, I want to go find this. So, and it's interesting because when it comes to things like cars, for a lot of people I know, they get clear about what car they want before, they get clear about what car they want before they even go looking for it. They know what model it is, what color, what year, all that stuff. But when it comes to a relationship, they just go on an app and start swiping. Now, a car generally won't last that long. Ideally, a relationship will. So why... I was going to, give, I was going to be profane, I won't. Um, why would you choose to put more effort into choosing your car than your partner? Hmm. That people do that. You know, there's an insanity to this in the sense that relationship seems to be just it'll show up and I'll meet somebody when I meet somebody. Not getting clear about what you really want. And I'm I'm adding myself here. <laughs> Lately I've been meeting some very attractive women. But I'm also now getting clear, thankfully, because I've done this work enough for myself, is that even though they're attractive and some of them are very attractive, I won't proceed into a relationship with them because I know what I'm looking for is a certain um, life path it's a pretty good way of putting it that I want in my partner so it doesn't matter how attractive they are if they're doing something that doesn't fit where I'm going I'm just being transparent and for a long time I was thinking there's something wrong with me about that but I know it's like that's the vision I hold so for you I would highly recommend and I'll keep this brief because I don't want to spend too much time talking about <laughs> those pictures first of all get clear about what you want because if you're willing to put the effort into choosing a car from a place of clarity, then damn straight put some energy into what you want to clarity about your relationship you want to choose. Because that would make sense, yes? Secondly, communication. I should have put this first, but it's a slightly less important one. But pictures are less effective than verbal communication. In fact, pictures come one step above texting, minimal texting that is, because there's more content in a picture. So. <laughs> so if someone sends you a dick pic that tells you all about them you need to know <laughs> you don't need a phone call with them that's clear and duck lips for the same thing because women send pictures to men are just like do you have a brain in your head can you articulate and when, when men treat women as sex objects and when women have been doing that there's kind of like you know if you promote yourself that way and you only get that from the guy there's your answer that's what caused it so step back from that place get clear in your heart and your vision what you want in a relationship both genders 
And also, when you start out there looking, stay true to that. If you meet somebody who looks really attractive, but doesn't fit what you really want, be willing to walk away. I have been practicing that a lot lately. If you do that, it will clear the way for what you want. Because the thing about it is, some people say you'll never find what you want. So, well, that's their affirmation, not yours, first of all. And that, by the way, is a powerful lesson. If somebody else tells you there's not enough men out there, not enough women out there, that's their affirmation, their truth, not yours. So don't buy into other people's crap. Let me be clear. Don't buy into anybody else's crap. When you get clear about what you want, don't give it up for anything. Doesn't matter how amazing that person is. And it's going to sound crazy, but sometimes you might be tempted with very, very amazing possibilities of what that person can be like. But there's missing something. And the one piece that's missing is key to what you want. Like you know that. You go, this is amazing. They've got all the money, they've got the looks, they've got the freedom to do what they want. But they don't serve the way I want them to serve, or they don't have a vision on children that I want to have children. Whatever that is for you that's important, don't give it up. Because you're settling for less than you deserve. I did a Facebook Live about settling a couple of days ago. So these are all talk recent talks you can browse through my last week of talks and find a lot of good content. It was there for you. And it was there for me too. <laughs> to share this out. So the two pieces I want to make it clear about is communication is to make sure in your communication that you make sure you talk to somebody. There are people out there putting their stuff on social media and on dating sites and dating apps that are not really being real. And you won't find that out until you talk to them. So if you meet somebody online, expedite to the level of communication by phone, not texting, but calling. And then in person, if that works for you, that's a stepping stone to do the right way. And if there's any dick pic showing up or, or um, duck lips picture showing up, walk away. Simply walk away. You deserve better. Doesn't matter how attractive it looks. <laughs> I think you got my point. So just a quick recap or uh, summary. This topic is a simple one. This one keeping it fairly short. Plus I've got to go somewhere tonight. So I'm actually getting ready to go out some uh, anyway. But I want to make sure you get this point because it's such a pivotal piece that we, because now we just uncovered it, is that we tend to sometimes look, uh, look before we know what we're looking for. So your homework, you something to eat homework as I do every day, is to look at what your criteria are, your intention is for a relationship. And it could be broad strokes, but at least have something. And get clear what that is. Because you may have not even got clear, what is it you really want? Maybe you say, well, I don't want to happen, what happened last time. And if that's an issue, we need to talk. But focus on what it is you do want and get clear about it, because that is a massive shift that's going to help you get clear and where you move move forward to where you want to go. And also look at my re look at my last week's worth of broadcast. There was some good stuff out there about the choice of relationship coaches, about settling, about how men chase women choose. There's two more out there. Have a look, peruse, enjoy. There's stuff that will teach you things and help you with what you want in love and life and relationship. Um, give you homework. This is, by the way, um, one of a series of talks, as I mentioned. This is 386. Three so all 385 plus this one um, will be on my YouTube channel shortly, also on my business page on Facebook. So the business page on Facebook is Barry Selby, the author. The YouTube channel is Barry Selby, is the channel. Messages from the Masking is the playlist. And also on my website, check out my website, which is barryselby.com. Click on the video blog to watch the videos. If you want to find out more about how I can help you, click on the, the Let's Chat button on the left-hand side. Yeah, left-hand side. Video blog's in the middle somewhere. Book's about there. <laughs> um, let's Chat to uh, sign up for a discovery session. My gift to you. It doesn't cost you anything. Um, my book is on there. My coaching and my online program attract the man you want. I wonder what that does. <laughs> All right, enough, poaching, enough, enough promotion. I'll be back in tomorrow because I do have talks every day. That'll be 387. So it looks like I'll be hitting 400 in the beginning of July. That'll be fun. So thank you for watching. Thanks for being with me. Any questions, comments about this broadcast, please put them in the comments below. I'll respond when I sign off. If you know anybody should watch this, <clears throat> sorry, if you know anybody should watch this, please share it with them. And if you need support, reach out. That's what I'm here for. I appreciate you watching. Thanks for being with me. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.